Jenny Grant. You might have already seen her on the channel before, showing me the ropes of bikepacking. And recently, she's been busy traveling the world with GCN Plus, going on some epic adventures. This place is magnificent. But who is Jenny Graham? Welcome to the Scottish Highlands. Come on in. I have tucked myself away into a remote little corner of the Highlands to try and write a book about my round the world adventures, which I'll tell you all about in a little while. But all I've actually done is arrive at the best adventure playground ever. Let me show you around. Reduced to the world of cycling until I was an adult. As a kid, I was always into adventures and being out on my bike, but I only found out that it was an actual sport when I was in my 20s and I went to study outdoor education. I didn't actually even enter my first bike race until I was in my 30s and it was a 24 hour mountain bike race called the Strath Puffer um, in the middle of winter in the Scottish Highlands. So if you're going to have your first race there, then most other things seem quite easy after that. So for years, mountain biking was my passion and I only actually got my first road bike a couple of years ago. And as soon as I got on it and realized the distance that I could cover when I was on tarmac, I became completely addicted to that. And now I don't limit myself to any discipline. I'm just delighted to be out on two wheels and exploring this amazing place. is why I love Scotland. There's such a variety of terrain up here. I'm standing now on a frozen loch, but actually you could be up on a hillside, like up on the mountain bikes or on some classic roads. And when it's absolutely grim Scottish weather when I'm tra out training in the winter, I always think it just makes me a little bit tougher. The type of racing that I like to do on my bike is the adventure racing, the grassroots bike packing type events where you're out there, it's not just how fast you can make your bike go, it's about living on your bike efficiently, it's about looking after yourself in these wild places for multi days at a time. And as much as I love being part of something bigger that these events sort of give you, what I really enjoy is being alone in the solitude of it. parking race is probably the Highland Trail 550. So it's a 550 mile self-supported bike packing race around the Highlands of Scotland. And it's definitely where I first cut my teeth at bike packing. I've had some of my best and worst moments on that route. But what I really, really enjoy about it is the sort of community that's around it. You know, there are no podiums, there's no prizes, there's no entry fee. It's just folk out there really wanting to push themselves mentally and physically and be part of this, uh, yeah, sort of bigger, bigger community. So with bike parking races, often you're not sleeping for very long. And um, so you just ride for as long as you can. 
and then just find somewhere to bed down for a few hours. But it actually means that you end up sleeping in some pretty grim places. Some of the worst places I've slept um, might be some of the public toilets that I've bedded down in for the night. So you know you're only going to be there for a couple of hours, but actually, yeah, they can be pretty grim. <laughs> can also just find shelter under a bridge, in a random shed, in a bus stop, just um, anything to sort of like, yeah, get out of the elements for a couple of hours. But there's something about the simplicity of living on your bike like that. You know, you don't carry any of the extra stuff that you fill your life full of. Like all you can afford to take on the bike is what you need to survive. And yeah, there's something quite refreshing about that. So this might not be a classic mountain bike route, but I find if you don't mind going off the beaten track, you're rewarded with the most incredible views. traveling by two wheels it's actually the places that it takes you that I really love so anything that gets me into these wild places I have been so lucky in my life with mentors in the outdoors people taking the time to introduce me to all different sports and to come out on adventures. And I think for me, the real inspiration comes from that community of people that you've got around you that don't mind going off on like absolute epics and being benighted and exploring the place. And it's only then when you've got that group of people around you that I ever find out about the Dervla Murphys or the Beryl Burtons of this world. So I've had lots of amazing adventures, but my biggest one, without a doubt, was my round the world record attempt in 2018. So I set off solo with no support crew and cycled for 18,000 miles in 124 days and broke the previous world record by 20 days. It was just the most amazing trip, like four months away on my bike with sole purpose of riding around the world as quickly as I could. All my days were cut down so they were really, really simple. I just had to ride for as long as I possibly could, get somewhere safe and dry to sleep at night and eat as many calories as humanly possible. I learned so much about myself on that trip. Spending that much time alone, just pushing yourself to that extremes. I mean, you go to some pretty full on places and yeah, really get to know yourself. But for me, coming out of the trip, I look back on it and it's given me this sense of confidence of like, actually we're all so much more capable than we imagine. Like getting to that start line was a huge, huge deal. And uh, yeah, if I've, got, if I've got things that I'm a bit worried about and nervous, to buy I think back to that and think well if you can make it to the start line chances are you can do whatever else you're wanting to like get your teeth into my probably some of my best adventures with GCN plus was when we went out to Colombia last year we made three brilliant documentaries. There was so much fun. My top bits from each documentary were an Andy's adventure, a road for Sai, and we were on a mission to try and find the best coffee in Colombia. And one day we had to cycle up this active volcano and the, the plan was to get to the top of it, but we'd all woken up the night before with tremors in the ground, like there was smoke properly uh, pummeling out of it. So that was, yeah, that was quite an exciting ride. And in oh um 24 hours in Medellin so best bit from that for me was when I got to go up and explore Camino Treze and meet Javi Saviar the um, local legend yeah. and the third one was the road to peace 
And that was all about connecting with the people out in Colombia. It was just incredible riding through these communities that, you know, haven't seen visitors, haven't seen tourists. The country was just recovering from this horrendous civil war. And the fact that we were there on bikes and interested in where they lived and what their world was like, they just welcomed us with open arms. And yeah, I'm really excited about, about that documentary going out and you getting to see it. Whoa, what a day. Well, that is me in a nutshell. Absolutely live for adventures and I'm really looking forward to having more with GCN. Now make sure you go over and check out GCN Plus and all the documentaries that we've been making over there. Now, I really have to write this book. Where was I? 